So what you need to do is you just need to click on your Windows icon here and then click on the settings option. And from here you just need to go to the network and internet setting which is this one. And in this window you will be able to see uh, this option here which says VPN. So just click on this uh, option. And by default, you will see that uh, this advanced options uh, allow VPN over metered network is on and allow VPN while roaming is also on. So by default, these are on on my Windows operating system and you might also want to uh, make them on if they are not on. Now in order to add a new VPN, you can click on this option which says add a new VPN connection. So I'm going to just click on this option. And then here we have the choice to provide the VPN provider. So by default, you can see this option is Windows built in. So I'm going to just uh, choose uh, the same Windows built in. I don't have any other option on Windows by default. So I will choose this one. And now the name of the connection. So the name of the connection I'm going to give here is let's say VPN book because that will be the website from where I'm going to get the address of my free VPN. Now here I need to give the server name or address. So just open your favorite browser and then just uh, search for vpnbook.com. I'm going to put this link in the description of this video also. So just go to vpnbook.com and then just go to the free VPN tab here. So I'm going to just click on free VPN tab. And here you will uh, see uh, two options for free VPN. One is free PPTP VPN and other is free open VPN. So PPTP is point to point tunneling and that's what we are going to use for this video. So when you scroll down here, you will see uh, various uh, options uh, which might be closer to your location. So just choose the address which is closer to your country location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just choose this address which is France VPN. This is a closer to my uh, location. I can also choose this one because this is also for uh, France. So let's choose this one. Okay. So I'm going to just choose uh, this uh, VPN address. So I'm going to just copy this address from here, which is closer to my location. And also you can see here it has given us username and password to connect to uh, this VPN. Okay. So we are going to come back to uh, this web page. So don't close this web page yet. Just close the address and then just provide the address here. And then here VPN type, as I said, we are using point to point tunneling protocol, PPTP protocol, which is also visible here. So you just need to give the type PPTP here. And here type of sign in info, just leave it as username and password. There are other uh, types of uh, sign in you can choose from here, but I'm going to choose username and password because on that website we have the username and password. The other two options are optional. So I'm going to just uh, leave them uh, as blank. If you want to uh, give this username and password here, you can also give uh, this username which is on this website uh, directly into uh, this section. So username and password. But for now, I'm going to leave them as blank. And now I can see that this VPN book is added to my VPN list. So in the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate this VPN book VPN. So just click on this uh, VPN book option which we have created. And then I'm going to just click on this connect button which is going to ask me for my password. So I'm going to go to the website once again, and this will be the username. So the username and password will be given here. So I'm going to just uh, give the username here and also the password, which is 3VZE4VD. So I'm going to just write that password here. And then I'm going to just click on the 
OK button, which is going to start the connection. And after the connection is established, you will be able to see a connected uh, message here. That means your VPN is working now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my browser once again and I'm going to just type what is my IP and it's going to give you this IP address which is not provided by your ISP. So I can just verify this by going to this website which is whatismyip.org. So here I can see uh, this host name is totally different. Uh, this is not the host name which is provided by my uh, internet provider. So now this uh, VPN is uh, working uh, perfectly fine and this is the IP address which is provided by the VPN provider to me in this case this is provided by VPN book. Also let me minimize this uh, browser and when I go to my uh, network settings so right click on your uh, uh, network icon here and then click on open network and internet settings and here you can go to change adopter options and you will see here the new network will be created here which is for the VPN book which we have just created. So if you want to uh, know more about this you can right click on this and then go to the properties and then in the security you can see that it's a point to point tunneling link protocol PPTP protocol and you have other uh, options to uh, give here okay. So you can uh, see all these options from here. You can allow other network users to connect through this computer internet also from here. So all the things are uh, given here. And this is uh, the address which we have provided. So that's how you can uh, connect to the free VPN using Windows 10. In case you want to remove your VPN, you can uh, once again go to the settings and then go to network and internet and then go to VPN and just click on the VPN you have created and first of all you need to disconnect and then if you want to remove it just click on the remove option here and then click on remove so your VPN will be removed.